Kennedy, Paul, Big Boy, y'all know how to spell it. I got, I got sweat escaping out of my pores like my body was a prison yard and running down my face like your grandmother's pop cover. You see, I'm talking nervous like, like I was caught somewhere in the back room holding hands with Massa's daughter. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I don't think I should be in front of the mirror of my friends and even my family. I've practiced this particular piece repeatedly, so logic dictates that this should be easy and I should be used to this. I've tried to ignore the feel of all these Bruce Lee butterflies and keep kicking down the walls of my insides, but it's useless. You see, I'm not nervous because I'm afraid of stumbling over a word or two. I'm not nervous because my actions may appear to be too hostile. My hostile intentions are merely an act of defiance against our reliance on the traditional that's kept the ignorant of this one. See, I'm actually nervous because my concentration is not on this performance. I honestly believe that I have a message that I'm worthy enough to spit that will wake the consciousness of so many that remain dormant. So with content, consideration, and common sense resuscitation, all that takes precedence over the level of public acceptance, but Yeah? I'm my own heartbeat and it's so high I can't believe that I still But moments before my presence was ever requested to a stage, I remember hearing this cat way off in the back tell me that if I'm that nervous, then I'll always have it. So now I learn to accept it. Knowing that being nervous means that I'm finally getting through, I'll just have to get used to it so that I can invoke the positive change I'm trying to motivate in each and every single one of you. So now, as I look deep into the eyes of the audience with confidence to ensure that I'm making a connection, as each point piece is pronounced and pays to perfection, I push past this wall of hesitation with persistence, because as a poet, that's my purpose. So I willingly accept the responsibility of bearing my soul, to become the voice of every virgin and veteran that cringes seconds before they ever take hold of a microphone. Ready to ignite the atmosphere that lifts that spit that fire. So this time, allow me to dedicate this round to all of those who don't believe they can flow. Don't think that work is good enough to show, but just needed somebody like me brave enough to go on stage and let you know that no matter who you are, you are a superstar. Each and every single one of us has always felt nervous. nervous. Come on. Oh.